next on Taiwan Made, a look inside Taiwan's booming luxury bike industry. Cycling is a sport on the rise in Taiwan. Today, Taiwanese bike builders are churning out custom models worth thousands of dollars apiece. Turn back the clock 30 years, though, to a time when Taiwan was the hub of the global low-to-mid market bicycle industry. A time when Taiwanese manufacturers were exporting tens of millions worth of far cheaper bikes per year. Some of the people populating Taiwan's luxury bike scene today have been there since those early times. As any bike maker will tell you, it's the frame that is the soul of the bike. Here at a factory in central Taiwan, the frame is manufactured using titanium and stainless steel tubing, which first has to be strengthened and slimmed down. The multiple pieces that will form the diamond shape of the frame are cut and then inspected before the team begins the task of putting them together. Each frame is comprised of seven separate tubes. The tubes are compared to the one-to-one -one scale plants before they move along to mass production. The hollow tubes are then measured, cut, and mitered to the right dimensions. Then they're almost ready to be joined together. The next step is to make sure that the whole can be together. So the next step is to cut the tube. The tubes have to be tapered and shaped to different designs and lengths. As the temperature of the flame can reach up to nearly 1,000 degrees Celsius, water is continuously pumped over the metal to keep it cool. Once the welding's done, it's a simple sight test to see if the different parts of the frame will indeed fit together. It's a highly precise process, getting all the different frame components to the right gauge, length, and cut. Here, the shape and surface of the head tubes are modified in a CNC machine. To stop oxidization from happening, the titanium gets a high heat treatment in a vacuum, further amplifying the already Herculean strength of the material. Before the components of the frame are welded, an HPHT processor strengthens the frame. Then it's time for expert welders to put all the pieces together. First, guides for the derailleur cables are spot welded on. The tubes are then aligned in devices known as jigs so that they can be precision welded and the familiar diamond shape begins to emerge. All in all, welding a frame takes about 40 minutes to complete. The frame is almost good to go, but it still needs a bit of refinement. Portions of the frame where threads will be put in are prepped using a brush. Then the threads are cut into the inside of the frame by turning a tool in a clockwise motion. Once the threads are in, any excess metal or flux left over from the welding process is cleaned off with an acid solution and by washing and grinding any rough edges until they're smooth. The finished frames are then hung out to cool off. Before they move on, the team has to make sure the frame can withstand the rigors of hard riding. After the frames have had a chance to cool down and get tested, further alignments are made, and then an undercoat gets the painting process underway.
那事实上，钛合金它因为上面做了拉丝或者做了这个抛光，啊，所以你要上色的时候，你要想办法让它的附能够附着。那我们在最底层先上一个附着率非常高的这种的精油。The custom paint job is aided by the use of stickers that give the bike its unique graphic designs. 我们的图案呢，我们是用所谓的遮气标，或是在业界来来讲是所谓的阿胶，用电脑割字割出来之后，一片一片把它挑掉不要的地方之后呢，再把它贴在上面去，贴到上面去，那我们再来做后面的烤漆的动作。Paint is applied to the surface of the frame by hand spraying, not only to make it look good, but also for protection. The decal strips are then removed to reveal the frame's custom artistic design. Then the shiny looking frame gets a rub down to get it looking its glossiest. Finally, a bit of lacquer is applied to ensure the longest life possible for the frame. And at last, the finished frames are hung up to dry for 30 minutes at a strictly controlled temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. After drying, the frames get a once-over from a buffer to make sure everything is perfectly smooth and aerodynamic. Then it's time to start putting on the components. First, the crank sets are installed. The bottom bracket goes on. A quick spin test confirms that everything is properly aligned before the chain is put on. The bike's 11 gears have to fit within just 5 centimeters of space. If any of them are out of position by even a fraction of a millimeter, there will be friction and unwanted noise. Next, the forks are attached, and the handlebars are bolted to the bicycle stem, which is then fitted into the head tube. This is followed by the addition of the front wheel by way of an axle, which is tightened with a quick-release skewer. The bike is now nearing completion. It comes down off the rack so the seat post and saddle can be clamped into position. And finally, this luxury Taiwan-made piece of precision engineering is ready to tackle any challenge the world's racetracks and roadways might throw its way.